Hello, 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 and Janelle here with another five, five, five minute movie review. And this was gonna be for a movie that came out a couple of months ago. My next one will be A Quiet Place 2. I just saw it, but this one will be for a movie that came back out a couple of months ago. So it will have more spoilers than normal. Still not giving away any major plot lines, but there will be some spoilers in this one because it came out a minute ago and I want us to have a discussion about this. So, uh, Mortal Kombat! This is the movie that got me back into the theater. It's the first movie I saw back in the quarantine, directed by Simon McCoy. Uh, also, James Wan is one of the producers. You could see that with the good use of the small budget. Uh, that costs about $50 million for a movie like this. That is a small budget. Um, the very few sets, um, they made good use of the fact that you could use like otherworldly places and deserts and things of that nature so it doesn't cost much to build those sets and uh, reuse those sets and change them up. Also, unknown actors with a lot of combat skills so you could have it be martial arts heavy on the fight scenes and use the power sparingly because that costs a lot and I do as a fight fan I didn't mind this but I do understand those who wanted to see more powers I do get that and so um but good use of the budget um the costumes are good sets um the makeup is good as well the first fight scene and the last fight scene are the best fight scenes. The opening scene is actually really, really good. Um, Scorpion and Sub-Zero are my favorite characters in the entire movie, the strongest characters in the entire movie, although Scorpion is not in it nearly enough. He gets attacked in the opening scene by Sub-Zero and there's a fight in Suze and I really like the ups and downs of that little short story within that opening scene. Um, you really thought you were in the ride after that. <laughs> Sub-Zero was great. They made him as strong as he's supposed to be. I like the, the foreshadowing, like the boogeyman coming when he's coming, everything frosting over, using the condensation and the moisture in the air. So they made good use, uh, creative use of his power. And the, again, the actor with his skills was awesome. Um, the last fight scene, him and Scorpion again, with the new character involved, but mostly him and Scorpion. So it's actually pretty cool. But the new character... If you're gonna bring in a whole new character instead of use one of the 200 plus characters and storylines that are already created, it has to be good. The character was lame. The powers were lame. I don't wanna say the actor was lame. It could have been directorial decisions and editing, but it seemed like the actor was lame too, or at least very weak. I would have thrown the whole actor, his family, and all of them out. <laughs> It's not good to have something center around a weak, weak protagonist. So I did not care for that. Um, some of the other protagonists, I actually liked Sonya and Jax. One of my favorite fight scenes was between Sonya and Kano. Again, minimal with the powers, but I liked the way it was choreographed in a tightly closed space. I found myself at the edge of my seat with that fight scene. I liked it. Kano was the comic relief throughout the entire movie. And thank goodness he was. He helped the movie keep going forward. There wasn't enough personality on the good guys, period. Liu Kang was way too serious. I liked the way he looked. I liked the actor, the way he looked but I thought he was just way too serious well um Kung Lao was trying too hard kind of corny but they did make that hat pretty cool Raiden uh-uh he seemed like one of the homies I, I was trying to accept it I don't care if he's Asian or white but he does seem need to seem like they're superior he needs to seem like Kung uh uh um, Shang Tsung's equal he didn't seem like that he seemed like one of the homies so I don't I changed the actor changed the way it portrayed and did not like that at all um, I liked a lot of the bad guys needed more time with them more character development they had more personality than the good guys did it was just simply on that even though they were the bad guys more of them more of, of Shang Tsung um, I did not like the way they did Reptile not only was he not in it enough but just bad use lame use it was like womp womp another womp womp was Goro he looked good looked great with the new technology but the fight scene with him was not only was it short but you got this grand character who's like a half god or whatever it ah it just the scene was so small and such a waste it seemed like such a waste of a character and it was a bad fight scene and all it all to showcase the new lame ass character's powers I was very disappointed <laughs> very disappointed Sonya and Jack's situation should have been reversed because Sonya should have had the situation that Jack's had and Jax could have still lost his arms the same way. He's a product of the state. They have eyes on him, probably have a tracker on him. They wait for Sub-Zero to leave, come by, pick him up, and he gets his arms the same way. There's no need to change that at all. And then if you're going to change that, you made it so lame. A lot of the changes and the new stuff was lame. The old movies had way less budget and were super corny, but the characters themselves had more personality and more chemistry with the actors. So... That's all I have to say about that. Um, it's a quick runtime. It does move quickly. Um, actually, I think that's about it. Uh, oh, no tournament. Whew.
there's no tournament and there's no Johnny Cage, which I think is the saving grace of the movie because it gives you something to look forward to. With them not having the budget, I think they were saying like, this is a filler movie, let's see how it does, let's see how the feedback we get, make certain changes, hopefully we get more, a bigger budget for the next movie and then we can bring in this tournament, maybe make two movies out of this and of course, who's going to be Johnny Cage. So I actually think it was smart that they didn't have the tournament in this movie because there would be nothing to look forward to, I gotta be honest. And I was a little bit disappointed. Boom. And that is my review of Mortal Kombat. I think they did have the movie, music at the end. Uh, no in scene, probably couldn't afford it. Uh, <laughs> Um, I would, I wish I could say I would re recommend it for the big fight scenes and all of that stuff if you want to see it on the big screen, but unfortunately, or, or, or fortunately or fortunately, like I said, the scenes are more combat heavy, no need to see it on the big screen. I would wait for this to come out on video, probably already is to see it. That's probably how you should see it. If you're a fan, uh, like I said, it's good that they left the tournament out. So now for my, my wants for the future and uh, yeah, get rid of that whole new character. Either get rid of him and the whole family, the whole shebang, or reduce uh, his role to where he is just simply a role player, uh, um, uh, um, ensemble cast, push somebody else to the for forefront. Maybe whoever the new Johnny Cage is. But you, you cannot have this centered around Cole Young. It's too weak. Uh, like I said before, smart to leave the tournament out of this because it does give me <laughs> and others something to look forward to and smart to not um, put Johnny Cage in it because I think you guys knew like, you know, we need a bigger budget for this. We got kind of a weak product. So let's give them a reason to come back and give us another try. So I think that was smart. Um, hopefully you guys can get more money, make better use of it, uh, use a little bit more powers, get make things bigger, brighter. Um, but yeah. But my biggest wants for the next, if there's a next, which I think hopefully there will be, is to remove the whole Cole Young's family guy. All right. So that's it. That's it for my entire review of Mortal Kombat Direct. Mortal Kombat. Directed by Simon McQuoid. McQuoid. Let me know how you thought about the movie. Let's go ahead and discuss how you felt. If you were disappointed. If you liked the movie. If you like the old ones better. What you think they should do if they do get a sequel. Do you want them to have a sequel so you can at least see what the tournament might look like. And if they do what changes you might want to see uh, in that sequel. And bring up any nostalgia. If you are a 30 something like myself. You played Mortal Kombat. So there's kind of a special place in your heart there. You remember the older movies like myself. Special place in the heart there. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up this discussion about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Subscribe, like, please thumbs up the video. Uh, please comment and thank you for all of those who, who do. Subscribe, like, talk to me, take care, and goodbye.